Oh, man. The cat's out the bag. Can't leave my sight. Can't go sleep without it. If you try and take it, you're going to have to see me in the streets. What if a helmet revealed the human underneath it? With questions that peel back the layers of an athlete's true self. Revealing who they are and who they hope to become. Uninterrupted. This is the Glass Helmet Experience. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Who are you? I am Dorian Thompson Robinson, former UCLA quarterback and future NFL star. Who are you without that on? I am still Dorian Thompson Robinson. I am just the more funny, creative, loving person um, outside of the helmet. What drives you? There's a lot of different things that drive me. One, most importantly, is my mom. Seeing her go to work, seeing her do all the things for me behind the scenes, she makes my life so much easier, so I can only do my best to try and reward her back with that. For Dorian, you're extremely passionate. Where does the passion come from? Being around different personalities, seeing where you know people come from differently and how people are raised differently, that's definitely inspired uh, everything that I do up to this day. And so it has definitely shaped me into the man I am right now and where all my passion comes from, for sure. How did football first come into your life? A little bit of a funny story. I actually started out playing basketball um, in a rec league in Vegas when I first moved out there when I was like six or seven. It was co-ed. I was a little too rough and I would, I think, almost foul out every game. There was one game where I almost broke a girl's nose um, trying to bat the ball down. So I think uh, football definitely was a game that called for me, for sure. Who was that young kid? Um, that young kid was super creative, um, just always thinking outside the box, could never keep him inside the house, never wanted to just sit there and watch TV or play video games, um, dibbling, dabbling in everything, magic, drawing and art, um, you name it, that young kid got into it. I think I'm very creative now, even more so creative than, you know, before and now that it's taken a life into its own. I have my own clothing brand. Uh, the tattoos you see all over my body, they've come from my own hand and my artwork, and I pride myself on not letting anybody else's art be on myself, so. Dorian, your mother is the most important part of your life. What does she mean to you? She means everything to me. My mom is the superwoman of my life. She is, uh, she's my rock, my, my mini manager, and uh, you know, definitely the, uh, the love of my life, for sure. Tell us about your blanket. Oh man, the cat's out the bag. This thing right here has been with me since birth. It's got rips, holes, all type of stains on it. Can't leave my sight. Can't go to sleep without it. If you try and take it, you're gonna have to see me in the streets. Keep this on me now. What sacrifices have you made to get to this moment? A lot, a lot of sacrifices. I came from two really big popular cities where partying and you know all that fun stuff was, was available to me 24 seven. Really having to choose between, I guess, two different lifestyles and, and making sure that you know I'm building the habits to, to get me to the place I wanna get to. You know, I've made a bunch, my family's made a bunch and uh, all the people in my life have made a bunch for me to get to where I am right now. Five-star recruit, highly touted freshman. How did the spotlight shape you? Shoot, ever since I was in high school, has always been on me, has always been on, you know, the teams I've been on. I've been on Netflix shows, had the Instagram followers and, and social media, and it's definitely helped me in the process. Um, you know, continuing to get more spotlight, continuing to accomplish the things that I am accomplishing. Um, just to be able to give me a level head 
What adversity have you had to overcome on your journey? Um, my parents split when I was 15. Um, I had to move schools. I had to take care of my little sister. All of that while still trying to, like I said, do this football thing. That experience right there was, was definitely tough, but um, nah, it's, uh, looking back on it, it like I said, it made, it made help for the better, so. Uh. Look into the mirror. Who is that man in the mirror today? This is the guy I, I saw when I was 11, 12 years old, um, thinking about what my life could look like. Who is that man in the future, and what have you built for yourself? There is no telling. Um, I'm not gonna put a cap or a limit on who this handsome young fellow right here could be. And uh, I, I think I've built myself a, a pretty pretty good chance going forward. That's, that's all I ever want, that's all I ever need is a chance or an opportunity. I think I've worked myself up towards that, so. Imagine you're 65. How will you have felt accomplished in life? Pure um, and at peace. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Making sure that, you know, I, like I said earlier, have no regrets. I'm at peace at you know what I've done, what I've accomplished, and uh, kind of the people I've touched along the way. Uh, making sure that uh, not only I'm good, my family's good, but the communities I was raised in were good, um, and and kind of all the people that have helped me. I think I'll feel pretty at peace and and that work. Not only with just you know the way things work out on the field, but kind of how I live my my life as a whole as well. What message do you want to leave for future you? Future me, you're gonna be okay. And uh, I hope when you finally see this, you will understand uh, exactly what that means. You'll come to fruition and, and purity with everything that you do. So.